Number one. This happened around a year ago, when I was around 18. It was a Saturday night, and I was doing lifts for friends that had been out to the clubs near where I lived. Obviously, I couldn't drink, as I wasn't old enough, so this would be my usual Saturday. It passed the time, and it helped me make a bit of pocket money. I was in a parking spot, opposite of the club, waiting for one of my friends to come out so I could take her home. I was just scrolling through my Snapchat, waiting for her to finally turn up, when I heard the passenger side door open and someone get in. Expecting it to be my friend, I looked up and said, Hey! But to my surprise, it wasn't her. It was a random guy I hadn't met before. He said, I know you don't know me, but could you give me a ride home? I really need to get out of here. Sounding really panicked. I told him no, because I don't give strangers rides, and I was meant to pick up my friend. He sighed, and got out of the car, and walked extremely fast down the street, away from my car. I thought it was weird, but assumed he was just some drunk guy trying to avoid having to walk home. Until the next day. I was going down Facebook when I saw the photo of the same guy, posted by the police from my town. Apparently, he had shot someone behind the club, and they were looking for him. That's when I realized he was trying to use me as a getaway. It scares me to think about the fact he was in my car with a gun. And had I gave him a ride, anything could have happened. Number 2 This was back in second grade of elementary school. I was around the age 7 or 8. There was this little boy in my class who had a huge crush on me. He always cheered for me. If the class had an assignment for giving a presentation, he would cheer for me the loudest. One time, he had mistaken another girl with the same name and birthday as mine. He was so excited, clapping his hands and saying happy birthday. When given the choice for partners, he'd always choose me. Learning from my teacher that it's impolite to turn someone down, I never did. When I was younger, I didn't know what it was, but I was always creeped out by him. When he chose me for his partner, I was uncomfortable. When he thought it was my birthday, I felt uncomfortable. There were moments where he would boast about me. Hating being a center of attention, I was uncomfortable. I was always nervous around him. Thinking about it now, I feared he was going to do something embarrassing involving me, or do something I didn't like. And he did. One day after lunch, we waited in the halls as my class took a bathroom break. It usually took a while, so people usually sit down. We would play all sorts of little games and groups. However, that day I decided I didn't want to play games, so I sat alone. A few moments later, he walked up to sit beside me without saying anything. A few seconds go by, and he slips his hand under my butt. He proceeds to squeeze it for a couple seconds. Then he left. He left as if nothing happened. He didn't even bother looking at me once. I knew it was wrong, and that I didn't like it at all. I was so disgusted, but I kept quiet. From then on, my fear of him tripled. Guy who formerly had a crush on me? Let's not meet again. Number 3 This happened a while back, when I was in 5th grade. I had just realized that I had forgotten to make cookies for my school's bake sale and it was the night before. My mom was naturally pretty irked that I had forgotten, but as moms do, she helped me make some snickerdoodles. So we got to baking, and everything went a-okay until we didn't have enough eggs or any sugar. Of course, my mom isn't happy, and it's 8 p.m. She reluctantly grabbed her keys and hopped in the car. My sister was already in bed, and my mom said she could trust me home alone for the first time. Not even ten minutes after my mom left, I heard a tapping on our porch door. This was the creepiest, slowest tap you could ever imagine. I thought it was a bird, or at worst a raccoon, but it was so methodical. Tap. Tap tap. Tap. Tap tap. This went on for five minutes. I'd curled up into a field position, 
and rocked back and forth while waiting for it to stop. I eventually gathered enough courage to take a peek out the window beside the door. When I raised the blinds, I saw a man's face illuminated by my porch light. As soon as I opened the blinds, his eyes shot straight to the window, staring right into mine. He smiled. I ran into my sister's room, locked the door, and turned on the light. She woke up and started crying. To get her to stop, I read her a story, all the while hearing the tap tapping coming now from our front door. When my mom pulled into the driveway, the tapping stopped. Creepy dude, let's not meet. Number 4 This happened when I was in 5th or 6th grade. I was reading a book outside one day on my front porch, and there was a man in a white truck who stopped in front of my house taking pictures. He wasn't parked in the driveway, but in the street. I didn't think anything of it at the time, because I thought he was taking pictures of the house, as my parents were trying to sell it. I ignored him and kept on reading my book. But about ten minutes go by, and he didn't move, and proceeded to look at his camera and take pictures. I got creeped out at that point, and went inside to tell my mom there was a weird man taking pictures of the house, and asked if there was someone supposed to come by. She said no, and then my heart dropped. We both go back outside, and he was gone. My mom didn't think to call the cops because she was very fob at the time, so we just ignored it. I remember a couple weeks after that, a car had come up to our driveway one night and didn't leave until five minutes later. A few months after that, another car had done the same. I tried to rationalize that they were probably lost and were trying to stop somewhere and then be on their way. But now that I think about it, they could have been related to that guy with the white truck. I haven't seen that man since, but for a while, I would get paranoid when a white truck would drive by near me. When I told my best friend this, she had told me she saw on the news that there was a man with a white truck who was arrested for taking pictures of children at the park. I was never able to find the article on it, or who it was though. This was almost 14 years ago, and I still live in the same house but by myself now, but not knowing why he took the pictures, what he was going to do with them, or what happened to them scares me still. Stranger who took pictures of me when I was in middle school, let's not meet. Number 5 I was around 10 or 11 when this happened, and I was home alone. The doorbell rang while I was watching TV. So I hastily moved my bowl of cereal and got up to answer the door. It was the mailman who said we had gotten a package and it was so big that he needed help carrying it. Something felt off about him as he wasn't wearing the uniform, but a dirty white shirt and jeans. I asked him where his truck was because I didn't see it parked out front and he said it was around the corner and just to follow him out to grab my parcel. He kept telling me to go with him, but I politely said I wasn't feeling well and that we would just get our mail from the post office. He said how much of a hassle that would be, and just to go out and get it then and there. I said I had to go get my shoes on from upstairs, and he waited outside. I locked the door and bolted upstairs, closing all the windows. I called my mom to come home and explain everything. The man was still outside, and he shouted, at me asking if I'd gotten my shoes. I replied that my mom was coming because she was much stronger and could help carry the package. Once I said that, he was quick to run and I never saw him again. They never caught him and hoped that he never lured any kids and tricked them into going near the van. Dear fake creepy mailman, let's not meet again. Number 6 so probably the most terrifying thing that happened to me just now. I just went into Walmart to pick up some light bulbs really quick. I checked out, and I'm walking out of the store when a man walks by me. Note, he's walking into the store. He looks to be in his 30s. I only noticed him because he's chewing on a plastic straw. 
And when I worked in public schools, I'm a teacher by the way, my kids did that shit all the time, and it was annoying. So, I walked to my car, I opened my door, got in, and when I looked up, that man had followed me out the door into my car. He was standing right in front of my car. At first, I thought, I don't want him to think I'm rude if I lock my door just because he's standing there. But then I thought, fuck it. And I locked my car. Good thing I did, because this motherfucker walked up to my window and tried to pull my door handle. I looked at him and just shook my head and said, no thanks, to whatever the fuck he was trying to do, and pulled away with him still standing there. I just got home, and I'm so pissed. Pissed that someone thinks they have the right to follow someone to their car and literally pull on their door. I want to buy a knife for my car, but I'm a teacher so it can't be on school property. Ugh. Creepy dudes who chew on straws? Let's not meet again. Number 7 This happened to me about 5 years ago, so I must have been a freshman or a sophomore in high school. I went to high school in a big city and left around 4 p.m. with my friends like any regular day. We walked to the subway and stopped to get food on the way. I got a sandwich to go and we continued walking to the train. We parted ways since we all took different trains to get home, and I walked all the way to the end of the platform so that I would get on at the front of the train when it arrived. I was starving, so once I got to the end of the platform, I sat down and started going at the sandwich. There was only one woman standing a little bit farther down the platform than me, but other than that, there wasn't really any other people around. I heard the train coming, so I went to take my last bite, and this giant man appeared literally out of nowhere and smacked the sandwich right out of my hand before it reached my mouth. I saw my sandwich skid across the platform in slow motion, and I just sat there with my mouth open, hands frozen in shock. He just stared at me for a second, didn't say anything, and kept walking down the platform. I jumped up and ran onto the train. It was pretty crowded, so I ended up standing and facing the platform. The doors took an eternity to close, and this man walked back and forth a few times, with his eyes locked on me, but didn't get on the train. Thank God. The whole experience was totally bizarre. And to this day, I have no idea why this random man felt the need to ruin a perfectly good sandwich and scare the shit out of me. So creepy subway sandwich hating stalker man, let's not meet again. <laughs>